determine the domain and range for the relation described by the table. And so what they want us to say, what they want us to figure out, when they say the domain, they're saying, what are all of the possible inputs that we could put into, in this case, a relation, and later we'll see into functions. And so over here, or I guess one way to think about it, what are all of the inputs that this relationship is defined for? And so you can view the x as the inputs. So when x is negative 1, y is 3. When x is 3, y is negative 2. When x is 3 again, now y is 2. And that's why we can't describe this as a function here, because we have two different y values for a given x value. But it can be a relation. When x is 4, y is 8. When x is 6, y is negative 1. So to answer the first part, when they ask us what is the domain, what is the domain of this relation, they're really just saying what are all of the inputs, what are all of the x values for which this relation is defined. And they list the x values right over here. So it is the set, and that's what these curly brackets mean that I'm about to describe a set. It is a set of the numbers negative 1, 3, 4, 4, and 6. So all we're saying here is if we say the domain of this relation is these four numbers, it says that any of these that this relation is defined for any of these four numbers. If you give any of these four numbers as an x value, there is a y, at least one y value associated with it. Now, when they talk about the range, when they talk about the range of this relation, and the idea also applies to functions, which are a more specific class of relations. You can view them as kind of a well-behaved relation. The range is what are all of the possible outputs that this relation can give you. Or given, given, the, given the inputs, what are all of the possible values that this relation can take on? So here you'll take a look at all of the possible y values that it can take on. So we can get, and I'll write, we, we could write them in order, or we don't have to write them in order, but I'll write them in order just for the sake of it. Actually, let's just go straight this way. It doesn't have to be in order. A set does not imply some type of order. It just means a collection of things. So the range here, well, our y value can take on the value 3. It can take on the value negative 2. It can take on the value 2. It can take on the value 8. And it can take on the value negative 1. And we're done. These are, these are the x values for which this relation is defined, that you can actually find an association, a relationship. And these are all the y values. These are kind of all of the outputs of the relation that it can take on. And we just looked right over here to find them.